Oh, by the way, I threw the grill back on, removed the Type S badge, but, you know, left that on. Uh, I just, I don't know, I just wasn't sold on the whole grillless look, and I, at this point, I don't feel like making a grill for it, so I'm just gonna throw this, I just threw this back on, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. So, yeah, it looks better, I guess. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? <coughs> Welcome back to another video. This video is not going to be anything too, nothing too crazy. I'm actually on my way to my parents. Well, I'm actually, I'm a, okay, I'm on my way to Steve's place because I need to pick up Jack, a couple of Jack stands, because <coughs> I need to go back to my parents' house where my RSX is uh, uh, stored, I guess. And I need to take off the tires and bring them inside the house. Because uh, right now it's Saturday, the February 13th here in Houston and that crazy freeze or whatever from the north is coming down it's gonna hit us Monday so I want to bring the tires inside the house so that way they're not exposed to the freeze because they are summer tires they really shouldn't be exposed to extreme colds something uh, something a lot of y'all in the north and other places that snow probably know something about <clears throat> this is not something that happens very often down here but uh, while I'm there uh, I, I do want to do one thing with the RSX. Let's get my... I'm right here at O'Reilly's about to leave. Well, first off, I bought another car charger because I needed... Well, this one came with uh, a, a USB-C because I needed one for the 4Runner. Uh, but I also needed one for the RSX for future plans. Not just for charging my phone, but future things I got in mind. And then I bought some valve caps or not valve caps vacuum caps and this 3 8 plug because I'll be uh, deleting the uh, I think it's what's it called the uh, ISS the idle control or I don't know idle control valve I'll, I'll, I'll put it on the <laughs> I'll put it on the screen annotated because I don't remember what it's called but it's a, it's a really simple quick delete of something that's not really necessary on the car especially since it's, it's just a track toy and whatnot yeah, so <clears throat> I'm just waiting for Steve to let me know that he's home so I can go pick up that stuff real quick. So look at this. Check engine light. Some uh, VS track lights on on my 4Runner. I don't know what the hell's going on. Hey, hey, it's that boy. It's that boy, Steve. So your car is broken. It's working fine. In a b broken sense, so. it, it's cosplaying a Volkswagen. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't understand. Like, I, I it was fine when I drove it yesterday, mm -hmm. and then I turned it on today, and uh, the lights are on. Fine, but <laughs> oh god. Oh, you know what? I should probably grab those while I'm here. Yeah. Because when I throw them back on, I might as well throw those on too. Yeah. Some uh, new to me, but but pre-owned by Steve. New lug nuts. These were on his uh. Fucking mess. These were on his S2K. F in the chats for that. I'm gonna grab these. All right. There's that. Steve got the jack. <laughs> I'll grab two more stands. These will do fine. I'm pretty sure the most over. Okay. For a while, I've been meaning to get this back to you. What is this? Compression tester. Oh shit! <laughs> I actually forgot this even existed. <laughs> there goes the nut, the lug nuts, and we are done. Let's put this down here. The next day. All right, guys. So it's the next day, Sunday. Uh, I wasn't able to do anything yesterday because after I picked up the Jack and Jack stands from Steve's, I was already like almost to my parents' house, and I forgot his impact 
and all the sockets I needed. Uh, and then like my, but my hand tools, like my uh, torque bar and all that stuff at home, I don't know where they are. Like in, my parents' garage is a mess, you know, I'm like, I don't, so, and it was getting late and dark and colder and I was like, you know what, never mind, I'll just do this tomorrow during the day or whatever. And I gotta do this now because around late afternoon, it's like, it's almost two right now and the late afternoon is supposed to be when precipitation comes in and that's when all the freezing stuff starts. So I gotta finish this before that happens so I can get home to my apartment and whatnot. So yeah, let's get these tires uh, indoors. Uh, it was actually a little bit more annoying than I thought. It was just this tire and the other side that was uh, left. Halfway through this, the uh, impact died. Um, I thought the battery died, but actually it still kind of works still. Um, oh, maybe not. Huh. It was working earlier. Hmm. I was thinking it was just like overheating or something. I don't know, but it's, it's acting up. The impact was acting up halfway through. For some reason, I was having a hard time busting the, the torque off these uh, lug nuts. I don't know why. Uh, here's the new ones. So yeah, I had to bring down the front. Uh, find me a crossbar. I used that crossbar right there to uh, put the spline drive socket on and then just muscled it off um, when the tires were on the ground. It was very annoying, but I was able to do it. Um, in the middle of all this, it started raining. Like, look, it's not. Well, what the fuck? The rain. The rain's kind of stopped now, but it was raining. Right, I'm kind of. You can kind of see I'm like soaking, kind of. But luckily, the frustration of this and the physical act of doing this kept me warm. So, yeah. So now I'm just gonna bring these babies inside. Yeah. By the way, that little mod that we were gonna do for the air, the idle air thing or whatever, we're not doing that today. I'll wait till after Monday, cause I don't really feel like being out here anymore. So here they are. If you're cold, they're cold. Bring them inside. All right, so that little tiny uh, idle air valve thing mod is gonna be I'm gonna do that another day. I'll see you then. Several days later. It is Friday. And as you can see, it's pretty sunny. It's still a little bit chilly, but I mean, it's warmed up enough. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Apparently it's called the idle air assist control valve. It's right, it's this thing right here. There's a hose that connects to the intake right here. And then a hose that goes to the intake manifold right here. So apparently what this thing does is when your engine is below a certain temperature, it opens, um, i.e. cold starting. Uh, it helps route intake, it, or it helps route air from the intake directly into the, the head or something, and it's, it's supposed to make your engine warm up faster. Uh, the thing is, after operating temperature, it shuts, uh, the, the valve closes. It doesn't do anything after that. So uh, a lot of people have deemed that this thing is actually kind of useless because even without that, your engine's gonna eventually warm up to operating temperature anyways. So it's like, there's really no point in, in like, like deleting it will remove one thing that you have to worry about regardless of how little and insignificant it is. And it'll help clean up the engine bay a little bit. So first I'm gonna remove these hoses from the intake into the manifold. Ah, 
I'm not sure if I'm going to use one of these hose clamps for the vacuum cap, but you know, I'll keep them. No sense in throwing them away. So I capped off, took off the hose and capped this off. Cap this off right here. Right there, just cap it off. There's the valve right there. It's gonna it's actually a little tricky to get to. Especially since my, my catch can line's running right there. The OE if you have an OEM fuel rail like mine, the fuel rail is gonna be there. Uh, some people it's easier because they have like a fuel tuck line with aftermarket fuel rails and all this stuff. Easiest way to get this off is using an O2 sensor uh, socket because it just slips right on. It's the same size as an O2 sensor, I believe. If you don't have that, then a 22 millimeter. So I found that I have a 22 millimeter impact uh, socket and I have confirmed that it does go over this. The, uh, the valve so you see it right there but uh, it looks different from earlier because what I did was uh, broke the plastic apart took out all the springs and stuff of the valve so I can actually get to the socket or the, to the socketed area the whole there's actually a coolant that passes through there you should put on Teflon tape around the threads since there's coolant you, that's like the best way to keep it from, from leaking it's, this is the plug I bought I'm sure it'll fit unfortunately this the uh, it's not like an Allen head or anything it's like a like a square um, I thought I had some kind of bit or thing that I could use to 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 uh, use to screw this on but it turns out I don't so I am going to figure out a way the best way to screw this on and pick up some Teflon tape uh, and I will be right back one eternity later uh, so I couldn't find a proper uh, like bit or screwdriver I guess for it for that little uh, square hole for that plug but I figured this would make do. I think it's a 3 8 uh, by 8 inch uh, screwdriver. From corner to corner, it, uh, sits, it sits in there snugly, so I'm hoping this will work. And as you can see, I put the Teflon tape on there. Alright guys, so it's done as you can see cars back on the on the ground with uh, the wheels on and everything and as you can see check out them new to me mutekis so it's gonna be so nice not having to use a slime drive no more but anyways so I'm gonna end it here my GoPro's SD card is, is, is really annoying me it keeps cutting out on me if you like the video like it subscribe if you haven't yet to see more in the, more videos in the future share comment whatever I don't know all the YouTube stuff so Thanks for watching. I gotta return these tools to Steve, so I'll check y'all out later. Peace.